This will probably get us across. I'd say in record time even. Go! It didn't work. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Lost on Steam on your Sundays because you're not doing anything else, so you tune in here. Now, if you're noticing my new glasses. Okay, I found these in my car the other day. Not sure where they came from, but I'm pretty hyped about them as you can see. I could be a 70s uh, teacher or possibly a porn star. I'm not sure yet, but I really like them. I'm not gonna wear them for the whole video though. They're actually very distracting because they're tinted like just off yellow. Anyway, we got three more games you never heard of on Steam. We're gonna go through them, kind of give you a first impressions look, and then that's it. Then we just wrap it up. We're done. You go back to your Sunday, not like you were doing anything anyway. Let's get started. All right, I know I said that I wasn't gonna wear these, but I kind of like them. I'm gonna wear them for as long as I can until the screen gets annoying. First up, game, Polybridge 2. Price, $15. Date, May 28th, 2020. Let's begin. All we gotta do is build a road across. Watch this. Done. A strong bridge needs support. I mean, you're doing really good, bridge. I don't, that doesn't look, I'm gonna be real with you. That doesn't look like the, why would you tell me to build a bridge like that game? If you knew that it wasn't gonna work, you're trying to teach me through the magic of trial and error, it crashed again. I think the problem is it has no supports under here. Somehow that actually worked. I apparently, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, which is good that I'm not a bridge builder. Okay. Now, training wheels come off. Real wheels go on, because it's a real car. We're gonna make ourselves a bridge. Okay, road, good, go. Perfect. Not quite as perfect as I probably had hoped. All right, we got, you know, we got the start of a, a bridge of, of a good support structure here. Okay, let's just go across here. It's, you know, bridges are all about symmetry. That's the first thing they teach you in engineering school is it has to be symmetrical or it's not gonna work. Oh, we're over budget. 1% over budget, that's fine. We'll just delete something unimportant. Yeah, we probably didn't need that. It'll probably still work, honestly. What do Brit? There was literally nothing that could have gone worse. Perfect. Go. All right. So I'm not great at the bridge building thing, as it turns out. I'm pretty sure that bridges look just like this. What do you want me to do? Is this helping? Oh. Under budget. All we needed to do, what is it even braced on? Someone beat this with $5 of materials? $350 in materials? Are you kidding me? Hold on. There's obviously something critical that I'm missing here. We're not gonna be outdone. All right, listen. We've spent $391 already. How do you spend less than that? A new slope, there we go. Let's just move on to the next. Build a bridge on a slope. Okay, got it. We got 12,000. We got 12,000 in order to build a bridge on a slope. Can't quite reach, we're just gonna add a new one there. And then have like a middle, middle support there for the extra large section. This will probably get us across, I'd say in record time even. Go. It didn't work. Under budget. Nailed it. I don't understand. I don't understand. Why do you not allow me to brace this on a wall or in the water? Why are you expecting me to know physics in order to create a bridge? You know what? Nah, I'm not playing by your rules. Okay. I think I'm missing some, some serious fundamentals here about how bridge building works. Why does that change anything? Just get over the bridge. As far as I'm concerned, that was a success. 
We don't even need to finish it. It all just falls apart for some reason. I have no idea why. I'm wrapping this one up. This is the most unrealistic bridge builder game I've ever played, of which the entire selection of bridge builder games that I've ever played is also one, and it is only this one. If you were curious, this is Poly Bridge 2. You build bridges that apparently connect and suspend on nothing and somehow still work. I don't understand the methodology behind how these bridges are supposed to work because I can't connect them to anything, but for some reason, they stay up somehow. You know what? Bridge building is just not for me, and that's okay. Let's move on to our next game. That bridge is garbage and would never stand. All right, next up, we have a game called Undungeon. This comes out quarter four, 2020. This is a demo work in progress. There's gonna be bugs. There's gonna be problems with it. That is acceptable, you know? So we could play as the Void or Locked or also Locked or the Void. So we will choose the Void. I don't need to know anything about him because he's the only one we can play as anyway. Let's just get started. I do like the art style right away. Void Dimensional, 10,000 years before the Great Shift. Uh, we are talking to two odd spheres that appear to be portals to the netherworld. Um, what are you? First off, I'm nothingness. No, you are two spheres and I am a weird bone man. So we have, yeah, so our left click there is just a basic. Space bar gives us uh, a shield. We hold space. We can put a mine, which does damage. Somehow that didn't hit us. Let's teleport. Let's get to the first stage. Let's get this. Let's get this party moving. Okay. Let me out of here. Let me out of here. You cannot hold me. Oh. Okay. We chopped up a cactus. Water sack. Dried arrow. Throwing knives. Okay, so we can pick up crap from plants, apparently, but not all plants, just cactuses. Hey, spooky mirror. What's up with you? Nothing. Okay. We're just smashing bugs for some reason. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna grab all these guys together and we're gonna try our mine. Watch this. So we shield up, and then we drop a mine right here. Boom! And then it gets everyone. It didn't get um, really anyone. That's kind of useless. Knife! Great throw. I got a little guy. Put that there. Oh. This is a super awkward game. I gotta be honest, this is a super awkward game. You click it, and it's like a solid quarter second after. Um, on, on games like this, you never wanna delay because these games are all about precision movement and dodging and all of that. And so to have a delay is really unideal for a lot of reasons. Mainly what I just described though, if you needed like the short end version, we got some kind of an upgrade. We got organs. Oh, we could talk to the beach towel. Can I? Can I get anything that's not just this claw swipe? So we talked to the we talked to the guy draped in a towel, and he told us that we need to go investigate something, um, and that he'll meet us there. And we're going to go to the strange place. This is apparently 14 days on the road. Go. I'm assuming we are going to encounter perhaps enemies or something else on our way, on our journey to the strange place. Wait, we found something. It's really, really hard. Oh, Jesus. This. Okay. Let me, let me wrap this up with, with some specific things that the developers could do that I think would improve this game greatly. First off, Steam recommends Children of Morta. I highly recommend that developers go play Children of Morta. That game, the controls are tight, the characters are varied, the story is engaging, 
the locations are different and unique. They're interesting. I didn't have a problem going through the same dungeon over and over again when we were dying because it was so hard. But when we died, it was because we messed up. It wasn't because there's a delay. It wasn't because the, the controls aren't tight. It was your fault. This game just feels, your character just feels so awkward being so tall and having to kind of attack downward with these slow attack animations and a dodge that takes you, you know, seven inches in one direction and still has a delay after it. Okay, I gotta just wrap this up because I gotta move on to last game. You gotta speed this game up. It is too slow. It's too bogged down with too many things. Okay, it's a hack and slash. Pick up the pace. Next. All right, last up, we have a game called Tesla Force. This comes out August 5th, 2020. This is an alpha version. We're gonna get involved. We're gonna get started right away. This is a top-down shooter game in which you have control of a character or sometimes a mech, and you just get to mow down the enemies. And our mech exploded for some reason. Why did that happen? You see, this game is fast paced. It just delivers on its promise of an action shooter game right away. You just have easy to understand controls. I don't feel like there's lag or anything is slowing down for any reason. All I gotta do is blow up this statue, which is a lot easier said than done. Uh-oh. Oh, I got a nuke. Well, that made that e that stage significantly easier. Press X to escape. Hold on. I've almost assembled my mech. You've gained a reward. We're gonna activate it. Gain extra teleport activation. Bullets will poison enemies. We'll just take that. Move on to the next stage. You see? This game... See, the other game just needed to take a page out of this game's book. Find the hive and... and oh my god! Okay, we are quickly getting swarmed. Okay, what is the exclamation point? Oh, that was just... So mechs are just a limited time thing. Monster surge. Yes. Yes, I can tell that there's a monster surge. I was wondering what that was all about. I am no longer... Fire bullets. Okay, here we go. We got a, we got a power up. So we have to live for 60 more seconds. This is fine. Kinetic inverter? I don't know what that is. Oh God. Nuke. Boom. Does that kill everyone? Not quite everyone. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's a Mac 10. We got a Mac 10. Hold on, does this? Oh yes, it just, we have infinite ammo. Yeah, we're gonna use this instead. Recover data from the hive, hold on. I will recover that in a moment. I'm a little bit busy. Oh, hold on, hold on, but we got heals, we got heals. It says that we can escape. Hold on, this is actually really fun. I'm enjoying this thoroughly. So we have power-ups, we have some kind of perks. There's, there's a, uh, there's a piece of a mech over here. I don't know if this stuff carries over. No, because that was only one piece. And we had four pieces on the last mission. I guess they don't carry over, but I'm not sure why. All right, well, we're done. I guess we'll leave this stage. We got, we got some kind of permanent power up. Uh, it looks like a tornado icon. We gained a new reward as well. Every time we complete a level, gain three energy cells? No, we'll just do more damage. Why would you do anything other than more damage? Okay, so is this, what is this? Stay inside to close the rift. Okay, well game, you will not be at all surprised to learn that's much easier said than done. Do I lose all the progress, I wonder? Hold on, there's another piece. Oh, no, no, no. I'm seeing more pieces here. I'm about to have, I'm about to have a mech. Mech is ready? All right. Here's what we're gonna do. 
take care of all these dudes as best we can. Then I'm gonna hop into the center and go mech mode. Ready? Mech mode! And then we just win. This, so much easier. So incredibly much easier. Tommy gun? Okay, now we have a Tommy gun instead of a MAC-10. This seems to do better damage. Yeah, this is fine. The damage on this is higher, and we don't need to fire a trillion bullets a second. We can fire a more directed spray of bullets. Okay. Okay. Slightly worrying. What am I stuck on? Stuck on a fence. Oh, Jesus. Please die. Oh, got him. Okay, I'm not going out before I take out more of these guys. I can't just let... Uh-oh. All right, bye. I didn't panic. I, I... Listen, I held it together. I knew exactly what I was doing the whole time. That was a strategic move. I did not just panic and bitch out, obviously. We can use a workshop. When you're reloading, you're invulnerable? Hold on. It, that's really good. But also, workshop prices down 50%. I'm just going to take this because we reload constantly. Okay, they must all be... I was going to say they must all be, like, in that alleyway. Here we go. Oh, uh, dusted. Now we're making progress. Clear out all these bad, bad guys. Okay, that did not clear nearly enough of the enemies as I was hoping. Okay. Yeah, they're spawning kind of a little bit everywhere. And we died. Pretty much expected, judging from how we were doing very poorly that whole time and did not have any kind of a plan from which to stop dying. We got a repeater shotgun. That's kind of neat. And frost bullets. Okay, so we're unlocking all kinds of stuff. Yeah, we had perks, but they did not, they did not help us win the game. Okay, this is kind of neat. So there's all kinds of stuff that you could really do here, and they cost varying amounts. All right, so you could charge up your run. There's research. Shows more level choices. I think these would be permanent. Uh, mech class longer, level rewards. This is actually very cool. This game, you can play co-op, it's multiplayer. So when this comes out, you'll be able to hop in with a buddy and just go ham. This is great. I really have no, no strong criticisms of this game at all. It's fun, it's hectic. You have waves and waves of enemies that become progressively more difficult as you go. It's great. I would watch for this in August and you can download this demo right now. Right now. Let's wrap up. All right, so that was your three Lost on Steam games for this week, it's Sunday. Hopefully you enjoyed. I do apologize that the first two weren't great choices, but I pick them at random. I, I go into this not knowing anything about them. And so that's kind of the fun, that's kind of the fun thing about this is I don't know what I'm gonna get. It's a grab bag of it could be great or it could be terrible. And we never know until we actually play it. You know, a lot of people would enjoy Poly Bridge. They would enjoy just crafting, you know, the bridge to help get the thing across in the, in the you know, in the lowest amount of money possible and in the fastest way possible or the most creative. That's a lot of people's jam, it's not mine. And as far as Undungeon, I'm certain that there's a huge crowd of people that like that kind of gameplay, the slower, more methodical. This is also why I don't play Dark Souls, right? It's not for me, and that's okay. I'm just showing you the games, and you guys can decide whether or not you actually want to go and pick them up. Anyway, as always, gotta thank my Patreon subs. I, I really do appreciate you guys. I keep doing this because you keep showing up to Discord and you keep talking to me for some reason. So way to go, you guys. Uh, as always, let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. I enjoy talking to you guys about games. And if you're a developer or a game that would like to send it to me, you can hit me up an email. That'll be, you know, that's around. Or you can just comment and let me know about it. And I'll check it out. Until next time, burn bright, everybody.